everybody, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are throwing aside imaging and cameras and lenses, and we're gonna be focusing on something else, and that is audio. In this test, since we have a lot of cameras here at the shop, we figured we would do a test, uh, testing out in-camera audio, specifically just running a mic straight into the camera and seeing what is usable. Now, what we've done on this test is mostly run everything a little bit low so we can boost it in post to kind of see how the noise floor reacts. Um, we're using an NTG5 microphone and we're not testing cameras that don't have some sort of built-in phantom power. So that's gonna be kind of the first thing. All right, let's get into this video. It's just gonna be kind of repetitive, so close your eyes and start to listen, and hopefully you'll come out of this with some newfound audio knowledge on a bunch of cameras that are available today. Sony FX3. All right, today we're testing out the in-camera audio of the Sony FX3 camera with the mic shoe attachment that goes on top. We're running a Rode NTG5 shotgun mic straight into camera, and we've set the levels right around negative 20, so we can boost these in post and see who has good or bad results. Now, obviously running good audio to camera can be very useful in a lot of different situations, so, I am very excited to hear how this Sony FX3 sounds straight into camera. Sony FX6, here we go. All right, today we're testing out the in-camera audio of the Sony FX6. Now we're running a Rode NTG5 shotgun mic straight into camera and we've set the levels right about negative 20 and we're gonna boost these in post to see who has good or bad results. Now running good audio in camera can be so useful in a multitude of scenarios. I must say that I'm really excited to hear how this Sony FX6 sounds. Sony Whoa. FX9. Today, we're testing out the audio in camera of the Sony FX9. We're running a Rode NTG5 shotgun mic straight into camera and we've set the levels right about negative 20 and we're gonna boost it in post a little bit to see who has good or bad results. Now running good audio to camera can be very useful in a lot of situations. So I am really excited to hear the results of this Sony FX9. C70, check one, two, Canon C70. Okay. Today we're testing out the in-camera audio on the Canon C70 camera. And what we're doing is we're running straight into camera with a Rode NTG5 shotgun mic. We've got the level set right around negative 20. Gonna boost this a little bit in post to see who has the best or worst results. Now, running audio straight into camera can be a great thing for a multitude of reasons. I'm sure we've all been there. That's why I'm very excited to hear the results of the Canon C70. Uh, C500 Mark II. Here we go. Today, we're testing out the audio of the Canon C500 Mark II. Now, we're running a Rode NTG5 directly straight into this camera, and we set the levels right around negative 20 dB. What we're gonna do is boost this a little bit in post to see who has excellent or not excellent uh, qualities of audio. Now, running good audio to camera is very useful for a plethora of scenarios, as we all know. That's why I am very excited to see how the in-camera audio of the C500 Mark II sounds. Rolling. Pocket 6K. Today, we're testing out the in-camera audio of the Blackmagic Pocket 6K camera. Now we're running a Rode NTG5 shotgun mic straight into camera. We've set the levels right around negative 20. And what we're gonna do is boost this in post a little bit to see who has good or bad results. Now, as we all know, running good audio to camera can be useful in a lot of scenarios. I, for one, am very excited to hear the results of what this Pocket 6K sounds like. Ursa Mini G2. Today we're testing out the in-camera audio of the Ursa Mini Pro G2 
by Black Magic. Now, what we're doing is we're running a Rode NTG5 shotgun mic straight into camera, and we set the levels right around negative 20 dB. What we're gonna do is we're gonna boost this a little bit in post to see who has good or potentially bad results. Now, running good audio into camera can be useful in a ton of different situations. So I'm very excited to hear how good the audio sounds in this Blackmagic Ursa Mini Pro G2. Still rolling? Yep. Today, we are testing out the in-camera audio of the Airy Alexa Mini, the OG version. This camera specifically, we are running the BeachTech DXA Alexa box on the back. We're running a Rode NTG5 shotgun mic straight into camera, and we set the levels at around negative 20, and we're gonna boost these in post to see who has good or bad results. Running good audio to camera can be so useful in lots of scenarios. I'm very excited to hear the results of this camera. Red V Raptor. All right. Today, we are testing out the in-camera audio of the Red V Raptor camera. We're running a Rode NTG5 shotgun straight into camera. We set the levels right around negative 20. We're gonna boost them in post to see who has good or bad results. Running good audio to camera can be very useful in many situations, and I am very excited to hear the results of this Red V Raptor. This is Red Komodo X. Today we're testing out the in-camera audio of the Red Komodo X. Now, we are running a Rode NTG5 shotgun straight into camera. We've got the level set right around negative 20 dB. What we're gonna do is boost this in post a little bit to see who has the best or the worst results going straight to camera. Now, we all know that running your feed directly into camera can be incredibly useful in a multitude of situations, and that's why I am really excited about hearing how good or bad the in-camera audio on the Red Komodo X sounds. Okay, and that is our audio video. I'm sure that was fairly boring to watch, but hopefully a little bit ear opening in the fact that we got to hear so much different variance between all the different cameras. Now, I've been in several situations for multiple different clients using audio in camera. And honestly, this is the first time that I've ever run so many of these back to back. And I think it was kind of interesting to see even the lower end cameras like the Pocket 6K sounded really great, though they're a little bit handicapped from their inputs and outputs. But something like a tiny thousand dollar camera can sound really, really good if you need to go that way. Some of the other cameras performed as well as we thought. Surprisingly, the C500 Mark II sounds really, really, really good. I didn't think I expected it to sound as good or better than say the FX9 or the Alexa or the Raptor, but in my opinion, I think it sounds great and there's plenty of uh, information there in post if you did wanna sweeten the raw files built into the audio clips. That might be a video we do in the future is taking some of this and playing with it in post, but we're doing this all untreated so that you can download this video if you're curious and manipulate and move things yourself. So with that, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, always putting out more content. Thanks for joining.